Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Today, like the title said, the title, the title of this video may get more views. Uh, it's not clickbait because this is erotica for sure. This isn't hentai, but it's it might be considered hentai. I just don't want to put hentai in the title. This might be hentai. It's pretty freaking erotic. Um, you know, sometimes you get these titles and people are like, oh, and then you get all these views and then you're going to make some money. Well, I don't make money, really, so I'm not really doing it for that. But it is erotic, so I thought I'd warning. So, if you've got little children, get your wife over your shoulder if you're at work. Maybe don't watch this video. I'll try to be discreet on showing what I can show, but, you know, you might get a little nip slip every now and then. This is Crying Freeman. Now, I'm reading Crying Freeman. Um on my iPad because I bought like the series on one of those Humble Bumble comics. Really good deals. Every now and then, look at those. Cause you get like a whole, I got the whole set, it's digital though, of like Lone Wolf and Cub and Crying Freeman and a couple others, Lady Snowblood, stuff like that. Um, so I've been enjoying reading Crying Freeman in the black and white original manga. This is a kind of a premium version all color yeah dude it's all whoa whoa. <laughs> whoa whoa it's all color up in this biscuit okay and uh i thought that was cool i don't know how or where i got this i must it must have been like in a dollar bin but this was five bucks back here in 1991 let me tell you five bucks for one comic in 91 that's like premium that's like expensive there's no way i would have bought this for a 38 page book for five damn dollars back then. I wouldn't even buy a comic now for five bucks. Yeah, gee, we should title this. Um, maybe this, this channel should not be called The Art of Comics. Maybe it should be called like Cheap Ass Comic Book Guy, because that's kind of what I am at times. Uh, hey man, it is what it is. So it's beautiful, it's great. Let's take a look at this. Um, this came in three different parts. Each one is like around nine, eight issues each. So it's clearly not the whole manga. I'm not sure how they separated this out, but it's um, it's great. Again, of course, you guys know the story by Kazu uh, Koike, wonderful writer, and art by um, Ryochi uh, Ikigami. So. Great artwork. Let's flip it over and take a look. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Uh, potentially, the title is misleading, but in a way, it's not. I'm not overselling it. It gets pretty graphic in here. Now, uh, manga, at least in the 90s, even today, even hentai, they have a, there's a, they do have some censoring things where they will... Um, take out the genitalia so she you know we see things going down but we take out like the the penis you know what i mean like she's going down here i'm just jumping right into this should i like preface it and kind of like just, i just went straight without the foreplay okay here, here. <laughs> this is part three issue six of part three there was parts one two and three of this premiere version all color i'm assuming this was because americans you know, us freaking gaijins can't handle black and white comics back then. And Viz thought, hey, we'll charge freaking $5. We'll color this mofo with some really cool watercolors, and we'll see if that brings in the folks. And I don't know how this performed as far as, um, um, you know, sales, but it's really well done. Again, I've read the black and white, but the color is fun and it's got that old school watercolors you know this is all hand done baby and i love it uh yeah so we don't see penis but we get some shadows so um tokonku uh togoku oshu is what the hell is um this story is this part part 
Basically, the story revolves around Crime Freeman, which is a, actually an assassin. He is an assassin in Japan. He is His gimmick is he cries when he kills somebody. Okay, He's married to a beautiful woman. Somehow she's captured. And the plan of the bad guy is we're going to bring in a woman who kind of looks like your wife. We're going to drug you. We're going to make her have sex with you and so that we can learn your sexual powers, your sexual desires. And then we're going to put those... We're, we're going to have that learning go into our clones. We got the... Not clones, but like two like copy dudes who got ma matching tattoos and have them have sex with your wife. It's very convoluted. So, we drug you, we make you sleep with the woman, she learns how you, how you like to have sex, she tells the dudes who will then go and have sex with your wife. Just as a total F you. It's pretty jacked up, dude. Kazuo Kuike is like hardcore. <laughs> so, that's what this is. And the reason why it's erotica in the title is because it goes pretty much, it, it, we, we get down to it. Now you notice his, private, his genitalia is not like, um, you know, glowing energy. It's just vacant. So, uh, and there's, I think that's for all versions. It's not like there's a Japanese version with the ding there. It's not, it's, that's just the way it is. So just, you have to imagine. So here's the bad guy, clearly, with the coloring, you can tell. And he's like, okay, this is what we're going to do. You are going to sacrifice your wife. Who, me? Yeah, you, Kimi. Kimi, you're going to go sleep with this dude, okay? And you're going to learn how he likes it. What style, what position, all that jazz. So she's like, okay. It's beautiful art, dude. It's beautiful art. So he goes in. She goes in. He's like, they gave him some Viagra. And a sleeping pill, and then she, her little naked body is just going to roll down next to him. Okay, Now, YouTube might... i got to be careful, because this is where, like, YouTube's going to start giving me problems. So, we'll try to, like... I don't know what's going to happen. But she goes down. Now, the two clone dudes are got the old school... <laughs> the 3D. They got a big screen TV projection 3D, and they got the big-ass Godzilla 3D goggles. <laughs> And now she just starts going. So they start boning, and then we get this. Okay, we're gonna quick position, leg goes up. Okay, chapter 12, we're going. Doing this, doing this, doing this. Back side, front side, they're getting hard. They're like, whoa, what's going on? Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Happening, happening. They're like, oh, this is this is it. He, she's learning all the tricks. She's learning what is going on. Uh, ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh no, what's happening here? I mean, they get some like crazy positions. Kind of. uh, okay, oh, he does he recognize her? Because at this moment, he's about to choke her out and kill her. And, um, he, you know, his her husband is watching this damn thing like a cuckold is like, well, you can't kill him, you know? So, doesn't kill her. Doesn't kill her. Is about to, doesn't. Don't know why, don't know what's going on. We gotta figure this out. We'll cover those up. And he just like kind of like sleeps next to her, right? And they're like spent. Everyone's like exhausted. And he does not come to final conclusion. He's just like chilling. She's like, oh, I can't believe it. He was cool, self-possessed the whole time. Even when he was strangling me, I'm scared. And why didn't he come after all that time? He's there for like five hours. Um, to be continued, dude. I don't know what the story, I don't know what's going on. It's kind of random that this was the one I found. Um, I think this, again, one of those dollar, dollar comics. And it is not like this all the time. So this is like hardcore kind of erotica issue. But the whole comic is not like this. It's, it's you know, more like a killing and assassiny stuff. But... This was uh, the one like blue version. So there you go. That's my uh, that's my take on it. It is a wonderful comic. These guys, 
are top of the game. I love the art. I love the story. Uh, but this one was a little bit, uh, a little blue, as they say. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.